In the company of her loved ones and well-known acquaintances, Victoria Beckham celebrated her 50th birthday on Saturday night by partying till the wee hours of the morning, declaring it the best night ever. The Spice Girl's husband David had to carry her out of the upscale private members club Oswald's in Mayfair at 2.30 in the morning. The celebrity needed crutches for her glitzy entrance hours earlier due to a recent foot injury, but as the evening wore on, her husband was there to give her a piggyback. After being put into the waiting automobile, Victoria was seen hunching over her family and giggling behind her thickly tinted eyeglasses. When the family headed home, David, who will celebrate the same milestone next year, was not wearing his jacket. All four of their children joined their parents in the back of their taxi as the former Manchester United and England midfielder helped his wife over the congested pavement. This evening's rather sophisticated black tie celebration took place in the swanky Mayfair Private Members Club Oswalds, where 100 guests enjoyed dinner, bubbly, and cocktails before dancing into the wee hours of the morning. Emma Bunton, Melanie Chisholm, and Melanie Brown, Victoria's former Spice Girls bandmates, were among the other guests spotted exiting the upscale restaurant. Melanie Brown, in particular, needed help from her own knight in shining armor to cross the street. Even Jerry Horner appeared to have gotten over the sexting controversy involving her husband, Christian Horner, the head of Red Bull Racing, as she left smiling. Singer Mark Anthony and his model wife Nadia Ferreira joined the departure later, as did close pals Rosie Huntington-Whiteley and Jason Statham. Dave Gardner, David's best friend and business partner, and close family friends Gordon and Tana Ramsey were among the other people that left. Eva Longoria, the former desperate housewife, welcomed bystanders before heading home, looking as fresh-faced as she did upon arriving. Somewhere else after ending the evening and heading outside, Hollywood icons Tom Cruise and Salma Hayek, who was joined by husband François-Henri Pinot, attracted a crowd. Victoria, who turned birthday girl, was reportedly thrilled to see her famous pals there, especially her old Spice Girls bandmates. Having them all there meant the world to Victoria, a friend remarked. They shared so much with her and were such an important part of her life. It was obviously amazing for her to have them there to celebrate her 50th birthday, since those were truly memorable days. Everything was made so wonderful by it. Her 50th birthday fell on Wednesday, and there were various activities to honor the occasion, including the party. Wife David rented a plane to take his close relatives to St. Paul Delaware Vents in the south of France for dinner at the 200 pounds per person La Colombe d'Or restaurant before landing back at Luton Airport. Pre drinks were served at the 25 million pound property of the Beckhams in Holland Park, West London, at 6 p.m. Harper, Victoria's 13 year old daughter, selected a cream camisole style dress from her mother's collection while Victoria went with a light green floor-length gown from her own line. David was dressed in high-end Italian clothing by Loro Piena, while Brooklyn, Romeo, and Cruz were all dressed in Dior. Brooklyn's wife, Nicola Peltz, had to miss the party because she hurried to be by her grandmother's side when she unexpectedly became ill. Victoria wrote, Can't wait to celebrate with my friends and family, next to pictures posted on Instagram. I adore you all incredibly. One small problem remained. Although Victoria tried her hardest, her injured foot hadn't healed enough for her to stop using crutches. She was able to replace her moon boot with stilettos, though. Italian-influenced platters were served as appetizers, and steak and sea base were served as main dishes. It is said that a sum of £3,000 was spent on bottles of Chateau Mouton Rothschild, which is a favorite wine of posh in addition to 500 pound worth of champagne. There was also a gigantic birthday cake given to Victoria. Before any of the four of their children took the stage to talk about their mother, her husband paid tribute to his wife of nearly 25 years. There wasn't a dry eye in the house, an insider told the son, as they joked about the birthday girl and expressed their appreciation for the pop singer-turned-fashion designer. David really splashed the cash. They continued. Given how much work she constantly puts forth for everyone else, he wanted it to be especially special for her. 
numerous people took to the dance floor as the music of the trendy DJ collective Hail Zero played. Best friends of the Beckhams, Gordon and Tanner Ramsey, Jason Statham and wife Rosie Huntington Whiteley, Guy Ritchie, and dancer Mark Anthony, who flew in from Miami, were among the guests. Edward and Ninfil, a former editor of Vogue, and Ken Paves, Victoria's hairstylist, who styled her hair for the occasion, were among the others. Alongside David Neville and his wife Emma, the former Manchester United teammate David Gardner also made an appearance. Salma Hayek, an actress, also got dolled up for the occasion. Many attendees were taken aback by Tom Cruise's arrival, but he made a splash when he knocked over a photographer, forcing him to topple over. Suri, his estranged daughter, was photographed celebrating her 18th birthday last week in New York City. She was spotted with a friend, clutching a birthday gift, while her father, a Scientologist, was 3,500 miles away in Britain filming the newest episode of Mission Impossible. She has been excited about this for weeks and weeks. A friend of Victoria's stated that it was ideal to have everyone in the same room. Victoria Beckham looked amazing on Saturday night when she arrived at her star-studded 50th birthday celebration at Oswald's, a private members' club in London. The fashion designer arrived at the event on crutches after suffering an accident at the gym, looking stunning in a semi-sheer floor-length green gown, and got ready to celebrate the milestone with a number of her A-list friends. In addition to spouse David, 48, and their family, other attendees included Eva Longoria, Tom Cruise, and Jerry Horner, a former bandmate who came alone after supporting her husband Christian, who was under pressure. Victoria, the birthday girl, wore a sophisticated sleeveless gown with a flower design on the side and frills at the waist. She opted to wear diamond bracelets on both wrists in place of a necklace, keeping her accessories minimal so that the gown could speak for itself. In the meantime, Jerry, whose partner was recently exonerated in the wake of a sexting scandal, looked stunning in a white party dress with beaded straps. Her ensemble featured bows adorned with jewels, and she accessorized it with a clutch and wrap that matched. Legendary football player David, meanwhile, looked stunning in a black dinner suit paired with a white shirt and bow tie. Harper, the twelve-year-old daughter of the marriage, matched her mother's fashion sense by dressing elegantly in a white satin dress with spaghetti straps and matching open-toed sandals. Romeo, the middle son, and his elder brother Brooklyn, the twenty-five-year-old, both wore suits to match their well-known father. Cruz, a nineteen-year-old, on the other hand, wore a cream evening suit with black brogues and a black bow tie. The wannabe pop sensation posed carelessly with his hand in his pockets while sporting a pair of light brown braces to finish off his ensemble. Victoria turned 50 on Wednesday, April 17th, and she decided to celebrate at the Private Members Club, one of her favorite hangouts in London. The Beckham family has long been fond of Oswald's. David and Victoria have been seen exiting the upscale restaurant numerous times. Given their extensive celebrity network of friends, which includes Eva Longoria and Gordon Ramsay, Victoria's guest list is sure to be a who's who of well-known figures attending the location for a private celebration. Oswald's is undoubtedly praised for its discretion. It doesn't have a social media presence, and even its website doesn't give much away about what visitors might anticipate when they enter through the modest front door. The club's interior design, which includes columns, chandeliers, and crimson cushion seats, is undoubtedly influenced by the Gilded Age. According to Tatler, a mantelpiece is decorated with fresh flowers and foliage that is changed twice a week. The restaurant upstairs, where Victoria and her friends would celebrate her birthday with a lavish meal, has a stairwell adorned with framed artwork, posters, and dog photos. The restaurant itself has a vibrant design, complete with velvety cot cushions, vibrant ceramics on the walls, and patterned upholstered chairs. Guests love the tequila cocktails and the South African-inspired food, and Victoria is probably going to indulge in one of her few vices, a glass or two of wine. According to a prior report from last week, Victoria is thrilled that all four of her children, including her son Brooklyn, will be present for her celebration. It's the nicest present she could have, 
they remarked, and it will be a small, private family get dashed together. It will be near their residence in London. Although David has pulled off a few tricks, Victoria's true desire is to be among her loved ones. Victoria is thrilled that the kids are staying for a few days, and they will all be joining her for her fancy dinner on Saturday night. Just last month, Brooklyn Beckham and his spouse Nicola Peltz, together with her parents, celebrated his 25th birthday at the restaurant. Following supper, David was seen giving the doorman a 20-pound gratuity as they left the business and headed home. In 2020, David went out to the club with friends Dave Gardner and Jack Whitehall and had a great time. While relatively new to London's private members' club scene in comparison to some historical mainstays, Oswald's has quickly established itself as a favorite among international celebrities that visit the city. The club is owned by British businessman Robin Burley, who also manages and controls the nearby 5 Hertford Street, which is said to be the location of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's first date. It's noteworthy that Burley himself decides to spend his evenings at Oswald's, hosting parties with friends or personally greeting people beside his favorite dog, Peg. The exclusive members' club, which opened in 2018, bears the name of Sir Oswald, a royal portraitist, who was the grandfather of Robin Burley. According to Tatler, his late grandfather's picture is prominently displayed behind the reception counter. Few places could name the Queen, Tom Cruise, Boris and Carrie Johnson, and a number of other prominent conservative party figures in the same sentence, but they are among the people who have dined in style at the quiet restaurant. Last month, Cruz had supper here with Beyoncé, Jay-Z, and actor Henry Cavill. Taxi drivers found Cruz's patient interactions with fans to be annoying. Earlier this month, Elton John and his spouse David Furnish celebrated with a gala supper at Oswald's. Dame Joan Collins, Michael Caine, Ivanka Trump, the daughter of Donald Trump, and Liz Hurley were also photographed here on a night out. Oswald's also draws royalty of all stripes. Madonna, the Queen of Pop, was photographed at the location last year, while Queen Camilla attended a family celebration last month.